Good morning, it's Wednesday morning and it's quite late, it's about half nine, we're about to go down for breakfast. What are we doing today, Green? The zoo. zoo. Oh yes, we're going to the zoo, it's just down the road, a um, couple of minutes, about five, ten minutes walk from the hotel, is it? Something like that. So we're going to go there after breakfast, but the kids had lions this morning, didn't you? I've been awake since half past five, because he woke me up at half past five and then went back to sleep. So I've been awake since half past five. <laughs> I'm just going to go and grab some breakfast down in the bar. And then we're going to scoot over to the zoo. Okay. Okay.
<laughs> We're just leaving the zoo now. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. What was your favourite bit? Pandas. Pandas? Oh, we've got to be quiet. Why are we being quiet? Oh, there's a squirrel on the bed. Shh. Hang on. Okay, squirrel gone. Uh, what was your favourite bit, sorry? Pandas. Pandas, it was good, wasn't it? Pandas it's the only zoo in the UK that has pandas. They have pandas. Yeah, it was good. We only saw one of the pandas, the other one was out and about, hiding. but it was good. It's hiding, yeah. yeah. Only thing, Edinburgh Zoo. It's very hilly, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> very you hilly. You can get the bus up to the very top. But we never. And then we can go <laughs> we up, down all the way there. So many slopes, we're knackered. Um, but we're going to head back now. To the hotel, I think. I think we're just gonna have a little chill out for a few hours, maybe. And then, and go, then go, go starting. Yeah, I think we're gonna go off into Edinburgh later on on a um, ghost tour, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what pictures. was your best part of the zoo, David? Um, probably Panda. Panda? Panda. What was your best part of the zoo? Meerkat, by far. Meerkat, really? Yeah, they're really cool. What was your best part of the zoo? Penguins. Penguins? What were you, Stephen? Pandas and, pe and penguins. Pandas and penguins? Uh, no, pandas and meerkats. Pandas and meerkats, man, penguin. 87. Why wanted you to pick smelliers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dog has deadliest 96. Right, they can dry them off on the ghost bus. Just <laughs> we're just at where are we at? We've just been to the Blackways pub for a little drink whilst we wait because we missed the six o'clock. We missed the six o'clock ghost train, uh, ghost bus thing. So we just went for a little drink. So we're for a little drink now. So we're heading down. And my feet are soaking. For the ghosts. Yeah, <laughs> Stephen's feet are soaking. Soaking. Because what did you do? I did a puddle. I did a puddle too. Yeah, we're just going down now to the ghost tour. Inside of my head feels weird. Lessons in life. The consummation of alcohol is forbidden on board this vehicle. If you want to have a drink, you can have one after the tour. Believe me, you're going to need one. But most importantly of all, do watch out for the Dramatic pauses! Yes! <laughs> Wasn't that one worth waiting for? Now, before we go anywhere, I'll have to tell you a little something about the bus you're on tonight. So, say your prayers, because I'm coming up those stairs! <laughs> this vehicle was originally designed and used as a funeral service carrying dead bodies to their funerals outside of the city. The company stopped running services in 1967 after a mysterious fire at the depot destroyed all of our vehicles, all except two. One of them we now use in London on our London ghost bus tour and the other one, one you're on tonight, nobody wanted to touch. You see, strange things have been reported on board this bus. 
and these things have been put down to the spirits of the hundreds of corpses that were stored here over the years. The smell of death that is ingrained in the very walls. So we thought it sounded perfect for a lovely sight. See you too.